spring is here and warmer weather's right around the corner. So you know what that means? It's time to open the pool. Today I'm going to show you what you need to know. Now it's best to open your pool when it's still a little cooler out. This is going to help prevent algae from growing at the start of the season. We're going to start by sweeping any leaves and debris off the cover of our pool and remove any standing water with the pump. Next, we're going to remove our cover. Now, you want to be careful when doing this and not let the cover fall back into the pool. Now, in our pool, it has these rubber straps. Simply pull back on the rubber and lift it off. Now, your pool might have a different system where you need a specialty tool to remove them. Next, pull the cover, folding it as you go. You might need some help doing this. The key is to make sure it doesn't fall in the water. You're gonna let it dry, then fold it and store it. Then screw the anchors flush into the concrete. Next, we're gonna reassemble our filter system following our manufacturer's instructions. Our pool uses a sand filter system. Other types are diatomaceous earth or DE and cartridge. You're gonna to wanna to make sure the electrical is still in good condition. And reconnect all the hoses and lines, check the pump basket for plugs, and install them on the system. Also install the sight glass and the gauge. Here's how a filter system works. Water from the pool is pumped through the multi-port valve into the filter. The clean water goes back through the valve to a heater and chlorinator if you have them, and then back to the pool. Next, remove any freeze plugs on the return lines and in the skimmer. Also insert the skimmer baskets. Now with the plugs removed, it's time to add water to the pool. Now you're gonna to wanna to add enough water so it comes up to the middle of the skimmer opening. With a pool this size, it takes a little while, so we started adding water to ours yesterday. Next, we're gonna start cleaning our pool. I'm gonna use this skimmer to get any leaves or debris that's floating on top of the water. Then I'm gonna take this net and get any debris off the bottom. And if the walls are dirty, clean them with a pool brush. You can also install your ladder and other accessories. Once the water levels at the middle of the skimmer, we can start the pump to recirculate the water. So we're gonna make sure all our intake lines are open, our skimmer lines, our drain lines, since it's been drained for the winter, you might have to put a hose through the pump to fill the lines. First, we're gonna pour some water into the pump to get it primed. Next, we're gonna set our multi-port valve to recirculate. Now, this is gonna bypass the filter and just get the water moving in the pool. Since it's been sitting all winter, the chemical makeup of the water can change in different areas of the pool. Then we're gonna turn our pump on and let it run for at least 24 hours. Next, we're gonna check our water chemistry. You can test your water with a kit. Just dip the strip and compare it next to the chart. You're gonna start with your water balance, which is your pH balance and your total alkalinity. So your pH should be between 7.2 and 7.6. Use a pH increaser or a pH decreaser to adjust it. Total alkalinity is the water's ability to resist changes in pH levels. They should be between 80 and 150 parts per million. If it's low, add an alkalinity increaser, and if it's high, add a pH decreaser or muriatic acid. Next, you're gonna check your free chlorine. It should be between one and four parts per million. If it's a little low, add chlorine as needed. If it's too high, don't worry. It'll eventually burn off in the sunlight. Shock is a product designed to get rid of any leftover contaminants when you open your pool. You'll also want to add a preventative algicide. Now that we've checked our water chemistry, we're going to let our pump run for another 24 hours. Now once the water starts to clear, it's time to start running it through the filter. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open up the air pressure relief valve a little bit and taking our multi-port valve and turning it to filter. Then we're gonna turn on our power. Once we get a steady stream of water coming through, we'll close the pressure valve and check our gauge. 
Take note of your pressure settings on your gauge. We're gonna let our pool run until the water is completely cleared up. Now during the swim season, you're gonna to wanna to let your filter run anywhere from eight to 12 hours a day. And with that said, our pool's now open and ready for the season. Want more great ideas and how-tos? Go to lowes.com slash how-to.